Hey guys, what's up? So I thought I'd give you a status update on this dishwasher and what I did to fix it. I mean, I had all kinds of problems with this thing ever since I got it. Popping thermal fuses, it wasn't cleaning good. Um, it was just random, it just it did all kinds of random stuff. Sometimes it would just stop off halfway through and I did like, you know, like a thermal fuse conversion uh, to a self-resetting one. And if I had made several videos about this thing, sometimes it wouldn't clean. Sometimes it wouldn't drain. Sometimes I wouldn't do all kinds of stuff. But just generally, the dishes weren't, they were not getting clean. And it was just a non-stop headache. But it wasn't just one issue. It was like multiple issues. And I made videos about me fixing all the individual issues. But they would come back and they would go away. But, uh, yeah, I mean, and now it's, it's fixed. I mean, I had to spend the time to fix it. But these things are notorious. These things are known for having these really bad connectors or contacts. So here's a bag, this, these are like little blue spade connectors. Um, so that's why I think it was so difficult to troubleshoot it wasn't just one connector bad. So normally these issues are like on the thermal fuse, right? Um, like it, it, they're, they're known to have actually bad connectors on the thermal fuse and that's why you pop thermal fuses. Like a bad contact creates high current situation which then creates heat and burns the thermal fuse. But mine, it was all of them. So I don't know. I don't know. So I went through this whole dishwasher, pulled it out, flipped it over, um, and I replaced every single connector that had a spade connector on it with one of these new with new connectors on it. And ever since I've done that, I haven't to have been one problem. Dish is clean, good. I haven't popped a thermal fuse. Um, I don't pop. I mean, since I did the conversion to self resetting, I don't pop thermal fuses anymore. It just self resets. It cleans good, the heating cycle works perfectly fine. I've tried everything. It's been gone for probably three to four months. And uh, I haven't had a problem with the, the water uh, filling up. So what, I, what would happen is the water would fill up in the bottom. So it, it, would, it would complete the cycle, but then there would be like a puddle of water, like an inch, you know, a thing on the, and you, then you couldn't start a new cycle because it was already, it detect water in the bottom. So I had to first cancel it. But plus that dirty water would like leave a smell in the dishes. So yeah, I went through and just replaced every single connector that I could see that had a spade connector. And ever since I've done that, I haven't had one problem. Um, but yeah, this thing was the headache from hell dishwasher. Most problems I ever had on a dishwasher until I fixed that. So if you're having the same issues, just random issues. Like not even just, like I said, it wasn't just one thing when they were just random. So, um, if you're having the same issues, I mean, try doing that, you know? I mean, it took me probably about an hour to do all the connectors, but, you know, and this bag was, I'll put a link down below where I bought this. I got it on Amazon, pretty cheap. But, uh, yeah, try that. I mean, it worked for me. So, so far, so good. It's been months. And like I said, I finally have clean dishes again. So, all right, cool.